back line. It's Pike, Brennan and McKenna who had a bit of a pinched nerve in his back but he has been named in the side. The halfbacks White, Jakovic and Worsfold. The centre line of Waterman, Kemp and Matera. The half forwards Lewis, Langdon, Main Waring. Not on the wing as he's normally played. The forward line is McIntosh, Sumich and Lamb. The following division Harding, Turley and Evans. The interchange Hetty and Wilson. The changes are Brennan and Hetty come into that side. Out goes Hart with a groin injury and Hines who also hurt his knee during the week. Ted Whitten, 89 the last time they made it into a grand final. This is their lineup. Unfortunately for poor old Andrew Hughes, he's out of the side with that shoulder injury. In comes Neville Bruns, a veteran down there at Geelong. So a real team player going out and another great team player coming in. Well, the back line is Simpson, Darcy and Rogers. The half back line, Hinkley, McGrath and Poole. And of course, that's a defensive line that we'll be talking about in a few moments' time. The centre line, Riccardi, Couch and Scott. The half forwards, Gary Ablett, Stoneham and Merriman. The forward line is Mansfield, Brownless and Jeff Miles playing against his old side. The following division, Barnes, who's been fantastic. I think somebody just fell over the bar. They're getting excited here about this grand final. Bairstow and Gary Hocking. The interchange, Bruns and Wills. Well, Ted, uh, unfortunately for Pusey to go out of this side. Yes, I, I've been to Geelong today and I know that he tried very, very hard, but he turned up at the ground and didn't even get stripped for a fitness test. Uh, and Bruns, of course, hasn't played since round 23. He comes into the side, but he's a very good player, fresh. And he's been training very hard to yes. get into that side, yeah. hasn't he? It's a, big, it's a big calculated risk, even. Round 23, it's a few weeks away. But that happened with Darcy last week, first up, and Pearl, they went all right. The big question I say is this, uh, with Wills and Bruns on the fence, would they play them on both wings? Not the players that have been selected in the side. Because they've got a... Wills can split a pack, can't he? He's got yeah, pace. He's and Bruns is a renowned wingman. Yeah. Now, Simon, would, would you put Bruns on Matera? And maybe looking at West Coast Eagles' point of view, would you keep Matera off for the first 15 minutes of the first quarter until it settles down a bit, until the heat goes off the ground? No, or, you, like, they, like Carlton did in 1982. Yeah, no, you, with, uh, you, you couldn't have. I think Matera's been a very driving force for them. And, you, and the, the first 10, 15 minutes of a grand final are very crucial. And I mean, game, the game can be won or lost in the first yeah, 10, 15 10 minutes. minutes. You can't let anybody get away no. from you, can they could, they could be even for the rest of the game, but they could get the break in that first 10 minutes. And right. so you'd, you'd yeah, have him on the ground. Football all night, all well, it's day. almost lost for Hawthorne, though, in 89, when Dermot got flattened and a few yes. other players got hit. Uh, do you think that could be the worry for West Coast? I, I can't see that opening up the grand final like they did in that particular year. I don't think there are players on either side that coaches would send out with a ploy such as that. I think it'll be so fast, it'll be pace personified in the opening quarter. Yes, exactly right. I mean, it was last week with Footscray and Geelong, but this, I think, will be even quicker. And I think the, the side that gets a break from centre bounces, and mind you, last week, Simon, as a ruckman, you'd know, young Barnes played sensational he played, against... He played a great game. Didn't he? Yeah, I mean, Scotty Wynn was injured and also was playing, whether he's injured early enough, was playing the, the kick behind the plate as yeah. a loose man in the half-back yeah. line, which meant Barnes was running free. And he was used very well through the centre then. And I'm not sure if that let, let him do that. I'm sure that... Um, well, if Hardy. I was... If I was coach, if I was coach I'd be asking Harding to stay on yeah. Barnes right from the start and just follow him around. So that wouldn't happen. So yet, even in state games, Harding's played a similar role, hadn't he, against Victoria a oh, couple of years indeed. ago? Yeah, he hasn't done. Ted, you're down at Geelong today. Stoneham, is he fit? Yes, he is fit. And he, uh, he trains sensational on my phone there because I've got a, an interest down there in how they go because we call on the radio. But he is... Uh, very fit. He's an exciting player. I hope they don't play in full back, Simon. I really hope because... No, don't, think, what, oh, don't, don't, gonna... don't you think you're a better balanced side? Say if they had a stone in the back line on... Um on Sumich and they put Brownless to centre forward and Ablett to full forward that, that's, got, that's an extra strength in the back line and still got the attack on the forward line it right. doesn't worry me if Ablett's full forward but not Brownless to centre half forward you know, because his recovery is better at full forward and Ablett let Ablett roam like a wild stallion around the half forward line pumped up ready for action Look, he's dangerous isn't he oh he's a dangerous man you can't give him a, an inch if he gets eyes like those yeah, ones Teddy if he's got eyes like that he'd be very dangerous <laughs> I can tell you tip, oh. tip. what my tip I'm going for Geelong to win because uh, I think they have better players up forward to kick goals, but it won't be easy. The West Coast are odds on, and uh, the Cats, I really believe, it's got to be a year, and Bobby Davis will be shaking like hell all night thinking someone's going to be the coach of the Quick, side before I'm they to, win. We're trying to get in here. Well, get him now.